And welcome back. Well, most people use the elevator when they need to go down 20 floors or so. So why are these people rappelling down the side of a building? They're crazy. <laughs> I was going to say it. We are here with Nancy Palo to tell us all about the Shatterproof Challenge Milwaukee. Good morning to you. Good morning. I love this. Yeah, we both have considered this, <sighs> but we thought, like Tiffany thought maybe she'd die of a heart attack. I think I would. Just My in the process go crazy of doing it. Seeing those videos. No, it's yeah. easy. We no experience necessary. We provide all of the equipment. Our technicians are certified and trained. We have a 100% success rate. I'll Meaning no deaths? No or, deaths, or no scratches, no injuries, nothing. It's nothing. All right, good. Why are you doing it? What's, what's the point of it? The point is to raise awareness and end the stigma and suffering of those that are living or affected by the disease of addiction. The Shatterproof Challenge is a fundraiser for Shatterproof. We're a national organization committed to protecting our children from addiction to alcohol and other drugs and ending the unjust stigma. When is this going on in Milwaukee? It's going on in Milwaukee on Tuesday, May 5th okay. at the Hilton Center downtown. And we're okay. really excited. Over and so what side. happens? I mean, people, do they put together a team or do they raise money or yes. how does it work? Well, both individuals and groups register to participate. They each commit to raise a minimum of $1,000. And that money is funding key initiatives all across the country to help us with our organization. Why choose repelling? What, what was it about repelling that really struck you guys as the, the way to do this? Addiction is the third largest killer in the United States behind heart disease and cancer. And no one has been paying attention to the fact that over 370 people a day are dying. And we needed to make a splash when we came into the um, space and say, and repelling does that. Repelling gets people to talk about it. And the more people that we can get talking about it, the closer we're going to get to reaching our goals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, as it relates to um, addiction, what what in in with this this group and your mission, what is it that what's the key component of helping someone break the cycle? Well, our organization is really focused on information advocacy and research, and we want to provide raise the sea as a whole for the addiction community. There are thousands of great organizations out there helping people, but they're not getting enough resources. There are 67 proven medical treatments sitting in medical journals that no one has pulled out of those journals and put into treatment centers. And that's because addiction has always been, had a stigma associated with it. And so if we can change that conversation, more resources can go to a disease that desperately needs it. Mm -hmm. What are some of the examples of some people who have done this event before and what draws them to it? You know, we primarily see a variety of different people, someone who are repelling in honor of someone who is currently in recovery or someone that they've lost to addiction. My, um, some of my favorite people that are repelling are those that are in recovery themselves. Mm -hmm. They, for the first time, feel accepted by society. When there are hundreds of people standing around cheering for them as they're coming down the building, they're being accepted the same way our friends and family have been rallied around for years with other diseases. And it's great. It's 20 stories? Yes. <sighs> Fully harnessed in, very supportive. We can even <laughs> do it on camera. We have GoPros. We yeah. can get your whole experience like coming down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> would, can you imagine? It would, it would be a viral hit on YouTube in no time. Seriously. You going down the side of the building. Oh, anybody. So, I'd be crying the whole time. It'd be great Bosh. to watch. <laughs> so people would great like to, to watch. <laughs> people would like to participate. What should they do? Um, you can register online today at RappelMilwaukee.org. You can learn all about Shatterproof, the organization at Shatterproof.org. And we would love to have as many people come out. We're looking for repellers, volunteers, mm. spectators. We'll be there all day at the corner outside of the Hilton, Milwaukee. Because I would think some people need a little extra time at the top before Woo! they lean over. Yeah. It's, yes. like, you know, you, it's not something you can just be like, go! You know, you got to sometimes have and a little bit of time. The best volunteers. I've done it three times, and it was really? scary every time. Are you afraid of heights at all? Yes. The first time I didn't look down. The second time I looked down and was even more scared. <laughs> but I did it all three times. <laughs> but the volunteers up there coach you. Yeah. They hold your hand to help you get over the edge. And it's a great support system that we've created for everyone participating. Well, I have to say, anybody who's done stuff like that, you know, the, the accomplishment, the, the sense of accomplishment oh, yeah. that you have afterward when you try anything, you know, of this sorts is... 
through the roof. Yes, we have less than 40 spots left available okay. in Milwaukee, so we want people to register as soon as possible and get out there and start helping us spread the word about the organization. All right, shatterproof. All right, here's the information. It's Tuesday, May 5th. It's $10 off registration. If you use the, the uh, code MORNINGBLEND, it needs to be in all caps. So go to the website, repelmilwaukee.org. Again, all caps, Morning Blend. That'll get you $10 off the registration. Then you have to raise some money to repel down 20 stories and raise awareness for Shatterproof. Great stuff. Great. Nice to meet you. Thank nice you so you. much. Yes. We'll